This is Mark and Charity's Coffee Podcast. Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast for Wednesday, September the 7th today. Belleville, Ontario, Canada. Hope you're having a good day. Hope the kids had a great first day of school yesterday and are off and running today. Already down a hat or something. No. Lost something already. <laughs> See, you say that in jest. You're joking, but I but guarantee... I Somewhere there's a lost and found box with something in it already. I'm just thankful it didn't happen at our house. I'm Very shocked. True. I'm surprised, actually, it didn't happen. Busy show today. I think we should open up with our uh, Throwback Thursday theme and lead into Dancing with the Stars of Quinny, which is coming up at the Empire Theater on Friday. Mm-hmm. This morning we unveiled our theme of songs we didn't use for dancing. And I love that. I wish we could play that clip. That was such a great montage. Good for There's you. There's a whole bunch it's of like songs. like two minutes of songs we didn't pick, but our songs were so good. And mm-hmm. it, it, I think, left a lot of people stumped because they're like, if they're not playing that, what are they playing? And then we come out with, boom! <laughs> <laughs> I went with ABBA's Dancing Queen. Who punches you in the face with ABBA? Boom! Boom! And you went with the BGS. You Should Be Dancing. You should Be Dancing. Which were, like, the two of them are fantastic songs, but listening to that montage, I'm like, oh, <laughs> we're going to have to do another dancing thing. A theme. lot of great songs with dance oh. and safety dance. Not a great one. But you did include but it. But included. Safety <laughs> we, dance. I was you teasing to. you that that might be my song and the look on your face, and that's why I do it, just for the look on Mark's face. was Slightly was horrified. Enough. But the fact that you included it in the montage made me laugh even harder this morning. Yeah. Because it's not the best dancing song. Team Charity is ahead. Is ahead, but yes. But only slightly. No, it's need, not a runaway this week. I think once the kids get home from school and the little minions get at it, like at the end of Despicable Me, when they throw that song on there, that's the minion song for kids. If that's what you think is going to happen, sure. I'm pretty sure. I'm okay. going to get on social media and pump it after school for the kids. You're kids, cheating. get in there you and vote. You are cheating. Hey, that's called campaigning. <laughs> Okay. It's promoting and campaigning. All right. I I don't feel I necessarily need to, but if you're going to do that, then maybe I should. Good use of media. Uh, get your votes in, okay? Winning song after the 8 o'clock news tomorrow. And then to celebrate Throwback Thursday, Charity and I are going to go to Burger Revolution for lunch, and we're going to film it. Are we going to film it? I think we should film it. We Who's going to film it, though? Because one of us isn't going to be, it's not going to be the two of us on camera then. Then you film it, so I'm on all the time. Okay. Dragon Fire <laughs> is the BOTM. All right, Mark. You be the, the star. I'll stay behind the scenes. Why would they want to look at this? <laughs> I was just thinking they don't need to see me eat. People have seen that, and it's not pretty. It's not pretty. So vote winning song is coming up after the 8 o'clock news tomorrow. And get your tickets for Dancing with the mm-hmm, Stars at Friday night. Sherat. Yep. is going to be joining us as well. She's going to talk about her experience with Dancing with the Stars, our 95.5 Hits FM rep this year. Right. And she's got big shoes to fill. So yep. we'll, we'll see how she's doing. And she has such slender shoulders, and yet so much weight is going to be thrust <laughs> upon them. She's going to do great. This company gonna has gonna had do great. two wins, two seconds. and At least one third. And your third, and I think just I think it was just, just me. the three thirds. The three, the five of us all together in the top three. I think that's it. Over 14 years. Hey, it's an enviable record. I, okay. Are you talking about people who have left as well? Or the uh, people who are no, still like here? No, for example, Nicole's here. Yes. Uh, but she didn't finish top three when she didn't work here. But we've had people who have worked here but not danced when they worked here. Such They've as had myself. Some, exactly. Okay. Exactly. Gotcha. Now I get what you're saying. Yeah. Gotcha. So. But a lot of people have participated. Right. 14 no, gotta, years. That's a, a lot of dancers. We're going to have the second. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure Lisa Grills finished second. I got to rethink this out now. I know. That's what it's been 14 years to, to keep me, track yeah, of everybody. Yeah. How could we? It's and it's so much fun. I'm just happy that it's still it's still going. Could you do it again? Cuz I couldn't. I'm not I'm too old. Like my body could <gasps> not do it. I kind of would like to because we mm-hmm. did it this year 2. Mm-hmm. And it wasn't what it is now in year 2. You kind of Got it going with the outfits, I'd say. I'd say all of us stepped it up dance-wise, but it has gone up even more since year two. It is such a show now yeah. that it would be interesting. There's a part of me that is intrigued to try it now. Mm-hmm. Compare it to 2009. Okay. Because I do think a part of me would take it maybe more seriously. Not that I didn't then. I know, but... 
You said it like you just I, said. I it. know. I said there's a part of me. I'm not saying the entire my entire person wants to do it because it'd be a lot harder. Tracy Lego Davis is on line one. She wants to talk to you about next year. After I just I wrote a bull for eight seconds on the weekend, and that took me four days wow. to recover from. That was so, so good to do Dancing with the Stars. I'd be afraid of recovery time and what I might injure. I think the bull injured you more. You think that would injure me more than doing Dancing with the Stars? Six yes. weeks of intense dancing? Yeah. You think I could get through? Depends who your partner is, right? I mean, that bowl. And I feel vindicated putting it up because when your husband sent me the <laughs> video, I wasted no time putting I it on Twitter. You, did. you didn't even know. I didn't know. I knew he sent you the video and I thought you'd have a good laugh. Be like, oh my God, we're talking about this on Tuesday. Yeah, Fully expected up. that. I did not expect you to post this. One video. of our listeners, Ted, is a retired pro yeah. bull rider. That's awesome. Weighed in on your performance this morning. Hello. Hey, Edward, it's Mark and Charity Mornings. How you doing? Good. How are you? Great. Can we call you Eddie? You can call me Ted. Okay. Ted. Ted. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, after Stranger Things, everybody with Edward, we just call them Eddie now. <laughs> so, okay. So, back up. Uh, you, you're an ex pro bull rider i didn't think there were any ex pro bull riders yeah we, yeah I was, I was one of the ones that survived wow oh, wow wow <laughs> how many how yeah, many years did you do it for i was uh i did it for four years i was down in the uh, new york area i was down there for four years and uh i did the uh, apra which is the american uh, professional rodeo association right wow so were you up in tweet on the weekend then for the stampede and jamboree no i watched it on your video though All right, i'll tell you <laughs> Facebook. i'll tell you i was oh, gonna ask thank you, you what's the longest ride you ever had is that the type of bull riding you did every one of them yeah <laughs> everyone just hang on okay so so for for those of us who have never done it and charity was that your first time <laughs> was my, yeah first okay. and only form how was her form first oh, time God. on the ball for, for the first time your form was very very good oh well thank I'm you very impressed thank you i was impressed too actually <laughs> that it didn't yep. get me bucked you, you off did exactly what you're supposed to do when the bull come bull's head comes up here you're facing down towards the bull and, okay and uh you're staying centered on the bull and keeping your head down that's what you're supposed to do keep your chin chin tucked in and Wow. Oh, so tuck your chin in. Yeah. Now it, it's pretty serious because watch they did have the bull the bull riding and and uh, I guess the horses too mm -hmm. on the weekend and watching some of the guys out there it is pretty serious like getting jolted around like that did you did you suffer any real serious injuries Ted or, or oh and I've had my I've had my shoulder dislocated probably twenty thirty times and I've had uh, a few concussions and I have to ask. I've been, Sorry, I have to ask why too. What what possessed you? We watch Yellowstone. To do we know why well, they can't stop. And at one point well, on the weekend, there was a bull that was quite. I don't. Ordinary. He was pretty active. <laughs> like he was trying to get out of the pen as they were trying yeah. to get on him. So, oh, yeah. you sit there and you watch that and you think, what would ever possess? <laughs> why why are you getting on that bull? It's a. Uh... The, the, the more that's what they call a rank bull. The mm -hmm. more ranked they are, the, the higher score potential your score can be if you ride it. Okay. And uh, that's that's pretty much every every rider's uh, thing is to try to get the most ranked bull there is. You know, you don't have any. It, it's a draw that they give you, but you don't have any control over that. But when you do draw that bull, it's uh, potential for um, staying on for eight seconds and and quite possibly uh, winning the winning the event. You know. Yeah, like why does a guy climb into a ring with Mike Tyson? Because if you beat him, you're famous. Yeah, and so the rush you, you too. There it. must yeah. be quite you a rush it. to yeah. it too. It is. It's it, when you're sitting on the bull in that shoot, um, and he's moving around like that. It, it's it's it does become um, frightening. Mm -hmm. But you, as a bull rider, you sort of don't acknowledge that. Well, All it's right. incredible. Do you have any tips if I decide to do this again? Yeah. Uh, yeah. Next time you land, roll. <laughs> roll, roll. Okay, roll. Got it. And, and get a hat with a strap. <laughs> well, I yeah. had a strap. That's the thing. I did. Well, thank you, Ted. Thank I appreciate Ted. that. You're going well. You guys have a great day. You, you too. too. I just think that's so cool. That who? What are the odds? That's right. Yeah. That one of our listeners would be a retired pro bull rider. I think it's great. I think it's awesome and good for him. It was really something to see, and I mentioned it when we were talking to him. But there was a crazy bull. Like we saw, yeah, yeah, and yeah. It, like it was trying to get out of 
I forget the pen, the name of the pen there, but where they load them up. He mm. he had his front hoofs over the top. Like the oh. cowboys were running back. Yeah. <laughs> because he's like, he was like, I'm getting out. Having none of it. it was, and then to get on that, someone got on that. And he did actually pretty well. I think he ended up winning that round. That yeah. Because it was one of the, and it was a preliminary round. It wasn't even like the show. Oh, no. <laughs> it was qualifying to be in the show. I'm like, you guys are crazy. Yeah. Crazy. But yeah. It was cool. That's I can what, I can understand the rush. Do. Yeah. And my youngest now wants to do it. Okay. They start on sheep though. So we'll start <laughs> maybe yeah. with a sheep and work our way up. I saw what happened to him on the bowl with the face plant in the headstand. <laughs> but he did better after. That was did his he? first try. And okay. then he did it again. Yeah, he it, you gotta get used to it, right? Yeah. And, yeah. That's good. He's so, not he's not like his mother. But Ted, thank you for the call. <laughs> I'll leave it there. Because I thought you were very graceful. I thought you were very good. That's what I mean. I was able to stay on longer. You asked me who outrode. Who? Yeah. And I totally kicked his butt. Oh, you know, the- <laughs> you did. There's no two ways about it. And don't ever let him forget it. No, exactly. I'm not going to. But yeah, it was pretty cool talking to Ted this morning and, and hearing his stories. We called uh, Richard this morning for the phrase that pays and got Mrs. Lee, who answered the phone correctly and picked up a $50 gas card. So that was great this morning. If you haven't yeah. entered yet... Uh, your next opportunity will be coming up with uh, Emily this afternoon. I need struggle. To, uh, register. I struggle with the phrase that pays because I want people to win, but at the same time, there's a part of me that wants to build it. Yeah, because if bucks. you don't get it right, yep. it moves on to the next person, and then instead of fifty dollars, it's a hundred dollars, and mm-hmm. if they miss it, then it goes up to one hundred and fifty. And so I don't, and I don't we, want people to lose. But I'm to, interested to see if we can get it. If we can get to two hundred dollars. It's a full tank for a pickup truck. We need to get to two hundred for two days. For two days, <laughs> to get your fr- to get to charity home to Campbellford. Yeah, two days that would do it. Two hundred bucks. Although back down to what are we now? One forty four. It is 146, getting lower. Yeah, it let's is. not normalize it and say, "Wow, isn't it great?" But I, yeah, I gotta right. watch myself. So but it's got, very uh, exciting, and and congratulations to Susan. That was that was fun this morning. And also, we had some fun with science this morning. We talked about the fact that if you want to be a kinder person, you need to stop thinking and just, just reacting. Because if you say, oh, somebody dropped something. Oh, I'm, I'm opening a door and somebody's coming. I, should I wait? As soon as you think about it, your brain will talk you out of it. Your instinct will make you move to do the right thing. So, so do the right thing. When talking, we should think before we speak. But when acting, we should act before we think. Boy, that's Ooh. so totally opposite Ooh. me. That's deep. I know, right? That is deep. I just rhymed that too. That is that Harvard awesome. professor, bull rider, Charity Brown. <laughs> <laughs> but it's true, right? We yeah. think before we speak, but in acting, this study says, don't think about it. Just mm-hmm. your fir- your gut reaction, if you want to be kinder, is what you should do. If your gut's telling you, whoa, someone's about to trip, I should go catch them. Yep. Then you go do that rather than, oh, huh, they're yeah. okay. Uh, what someone if someone, else, is someone else going to do it? Right. Some? Yeah. I had, I had a buddy of mine that all the time now, he thinks liability. If I rush to help somebody, how... How is it going to turn back on me? Bite me in the butt. Yeah. How will I be then liable if I go to help somebody if they fall, but they think I pushed them or something breaks or I go to help somebody and, and I get hurt. Mm -hmm. And, and so that's what happens in your head. That's why I said, if you want to be kind, just do it. Because your brain will talk you out of it. That's too bad that that, yeah. that we're shift that because it, it is. I think we're all shifting that way. It's like, mm-hmm. oh, do I get involved? Do yeah. I really want to get involved in this? And who who knew that walking could stave off dementia? Ninety six hundred steps a day, according to this study that came out, can drop your risk of dementia by about fifty percent. And uh, primarily, if you can get to six thousand, that's good. But if that other three to four thousand was a purposeful walk, like go around the block or take some time to actually make it a, you know, a walk as opposed mm-hmm. to just the amount of steps you do, mm-hmm. um, then it can really do remarkable work. So that came up today. I'm surprised by the percentage. I'm not surprised at the benefits that can come from it. But I wouldn't have thought dementia. I thought it would just be all physical. It never occurred to me that there were well, mental advantages to walking. That's why I walk. Quite often, that's... and and. That's my meditation, honestly, is mm-hmm. when I'm out walking. It, and it is a purposeful walk. It's like, okay, I'm going to go for a walk now. Yeah. Because it does make me feel physically better, but also mentally. It gives me a chance to, to, clear, my, to clear my head and to, 
to just kind of calm down and release the stress and lowering. Like, it, yeah. To me, it, I, I see, we talk about it, the benefits of getting out and just being outdoors and enjoying it. So yeah, I, I, I could see how that would, even the m- mental health of it benefit, you could, you could b- get benefits mentally from walking. And I'm you, just surprised that it's that high. Right. That's huge. That's really awesome. And if you want to lose weight, forget dieting, forget exercising. Just open a window. Yeah, apparently opening a window before you go to bed because it's cooler now, especially. Your body has to work to keep you warm and that can burn some fat the, and make you The brown thinner. fat. The brown, oh. there's two types of fat. So there's right. the white fat, yep. the bad fat. Okay. That's where we get our love handles and the thighs and the Thank bellies. You. And then there's brown fat and brown fat's used, it, it's the energy one. It gives you energy, Burn. it burns the fat. Um, so they say that's what's working and can help you lose the weight. The white fat, I guess, eventually turns into the brown fat. So if then you if you right, leave your window yeah. open, then the brown, so it all works together. Right. So you are getting a bit of the white, mm-hmm. but yeah, it's, it's in order to stay warm. Although I sleep with like five blankets. So I don't know if, if kind of defeats could, the yeah, purpose. Yeah. You have to get rid of a few yeah. blankets too. You have but to be it, a little chilly. Catherine, can you say, bed. why is the window open? Cause I'm doing crunches. <laughs> I'm losing weight. Leave me alone. <laughs> Leave me alone. Get in bed. It's freezing in here. Oh, yeah. So that went on this morning. Again, Katie Sherratt on the show tomorrow. It's a throwback Thursday tomorrow. Jimmy Hollywood's going to have new movies tomorrow. Hopefully some good ones. He mentioned oh, today about gosh, the yeah. $3. It was National Cinema Day last mm-hmm. weekend. So mm-hmm. the cinemas across North, not just in the States, but here in Canada too, lowered ticket prices to just $3. And brought back some of the bigger movies that we saw earlier in the summer, like Top Gun. Um, what was the other Spider big one? Man. Spider-Man. and Jaws. They even had Jaws in some theaters. And it was an amazing box office. It was a great weekend. Again, Maverick was number one because people went to the theaters. Yep. So he was talking about that this morning and how it could... I, wouldn't that be nice if it became more of a regular thing? Well, I remember when they made Cheap Tuesdays a thing. I thought, this is just great. Maybe they'll kill going to a movie on Thursday, but it really didn't. It was, it you, just kind of became a destination so night. So do you think it matters more than movies? Because I think having Jaws back in the theater would have drawn people. I would have gone to the theater. Right, yeah, maybe. And saw it, and for $3. Maybe. Why I, not? I did uh, a sort of uh, audio documentary, which might have been called a podcast, except it wasn't podcast back when I was in college, on wood. D, well, at that time it was VCR movies. Mm-hmm. Would that kill going to the movies? Will I wait till a movie comes out on VHS and watch it in my home as for $5 yeah. as opposed to spending 8 at that time to go to a movie where, you know, a couple. Like, it'll kill movie theater. And of course it hasn't mm-hmm. because we've figured out or they've done a better job of saying it's the experience of movie going. It's not just sitting watch. You sit and watch a movie at home. But you go to the theater and the cinema when well, you yeah. go. Um, and so Jimmy says a, that. There are certain movies you have to see you on have the big to. screen. So, mm-hmm. yeah, put those back in the theater. Charge me three bucks and make it a, hey, for six bucks, Kath and I can go out and watch, you know, Indiana Jones again. I have well, it at I home, just, but let's go watch yeah, that. I was just that thinking with the Galaxy of Games, we had our Blockbuster Wednesdays, right? If they yep. took blockbust, summer blockbusters from years ago or big movies like star wars and put mm-hmm. it in a theater for a limited time i think people would go i think it'd be fun yeah if you did the first three because they were in theaters when i could go to the when i started going to the movies right, right some right. of those movies predate me like yeah. jaws wasn't in the theaters so to see it on the big screen not just at a drive-in which is cool but in mm-hmm. a theater right yeah i just got a cool. tingle because one of my favorite movies oh. is psycho <laughs> Yes. And if I could see Psycho in an enormous in screen and like, don't go in the bathroom, yeah. don't take a shower now, <laughs> you know, because it's coming. Yeah. And even though you like, mm, yeah, so true. Because they do the Rocky Horror Picture Show around oh, Halloween. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Why not do a Psycho? Like do a, do themed weekends or a special weekend or time frame where, yeah, we're going to throw these movies back in theaters. Go. Three bucks. Have fun. It's a great idea. We yeah. Should, we should write them a letter. Mail it. Old school. We'll tell Jimmy tomorrow. He'll look after it. We'll that. let him know. Yeah. He's our guy. <laughs> he's our connection. He'll handle that. And tomorrow <laughs> kicks off the National Football League season. Game oh, one. Yes. The Buffalo Bills are playing in L.A. 
Bills are favored to win the Super Bowl, so there's going to be a lot of car flags and a lot of jerseys. I'm going to save mine for Friday out of respect. I'm not going to wear my Patriot garbage for Bills fans. That's why they think of it garbage. Side note, I didn't have this in the pulse, but Ozzy's going to be playing during the half half time. Ozzy is? Tomorrow Tomorrow night? Wow. Good for him. Yeah. That's going to be something. And I still don't know all the details, but that big surgery or that life-altering surgery he had, and he has Parkinson's. So it'll be interesting to see. Wow. But he's set to perform tomorrow. I hope it's good. Like I hope so too. I, I do. I hope it's not. No judge. No yeah. judge. It's Ozzy doing it. And so that's pretty cool. Yeah. Get you set for all of that tomorrow with the Mark and Charity Coffee Podcast. Today, Spotify, Apple Podcasts, Google Podcasts, wherever you enjoy it. Subscribe for it, okay? And uh, you'll get it daily in your inbox by about 11 o'clock in the morning. Uh, be sure and register for the phrase that pays at the pump. All that and more coming up tomorrow morning at 95.5 Hits FM. Enjoy your day.